This is Sitesh, your English uh, teacher. Previous class, we discussed about uh, the enchanted pool, the lesson. That lesson completely you understood. And today, I want to discuss with uh, one of the greatest uh, saint about the poem. The poem name is Upabukta. So Upabukta poem written by Rabindranath Tagore. So Rabindranath Tagore students, uh, almost all, all the Indians uh, well knew about the Rabindranath Tagore. So today national anthem we are all reciting, reading and uh, singing. That uh, completely concept given to us by the Rabindranath Tagore. So, Upabukta, in the uh, introduction student, let me discuss here introduction. This poem is about the story of a Buddhist monk, Upabukta, a disciple of Lord Buddha and the dancing girl of Mathura. Vasava Dutta, Vasava Dutta was a famous and beautiful dancing girl. She was proud of the beauty, youth and her wealth. Upagupta was an ascetic and epitome of kindness, wisdom and selflessness. One dark night while walking Vasudatta stumbles over the body of Upagupta who was sleeping on the dusty ground. So this is the introduction and uh, almost all the concept of this uh, Upagupta poem gave here. Okay, student here, this poem completely explaining about the one of the Buddhist monk, Buddhist, Buddhist, Buddhism religion. Buddhism religion, one of the disciple of Buddha. See here, uh, his name given, uh, that uh, person name is Upagupta and uh, Lord Buddha, Buddha religion, Buddhism religion, profounder was Buddha. Buddha's uh, student, one of the student is Upagupta, about Upagupta explained in this poem. Okay, and also with the Upagupta, another uh, person mentioned here, the person name is the Dancing Girl of Mathura. Mathura it is one of the city we see in Uttar Pradesh. So Uttar Pradesh Mathura, her name is Vasavadatta. She is a dancing girl and uh, here about uh, Vasavadatta some explanation given here. Vasavadatta was a famous and uh, beautiful dancing girl. Mathura kingdom. So Mathura kingdom in the court uh, dancing girl she was. And also she was proud of uh, her beauty. See here we should understand why we are given proud of her beauty in the sense here. She very happy of her uh, beautiness. In the sense here, she was very beauty. Okay, and then youth and her wealth. She was a wealthiest uh, person and also she was young and uh, proud of uh, his uh, beauty. Okay, one kind of richness uh, in beauty we can understand here. She is. Okay, and also Upagupta, how he is? Upagupta was an ascetic. Ascetic means Ascetic in the sense here, an ascetic life of uh, prayer and fasting. His work is praying and fasting and uh, teaching of uh, Buddha religion concept here. Okay, and uh, ext uh, epitome of kindness is the uh, character explained here, student. His character, he was completely kindness person and uh, wisdom, knowledgeable person, and also selflessness. So, selfish men not is okay so selfless uh, person he was and one dark night so uh, in this poem one dark night what happening the complete uh, explanation given in this uh, Upagupta poem here so one dark night uh, while walking Vasavadatta after completing her dancing uh, activity work she was going to her home then that was the time of her dark dark night while walking Vasavata stumbles, stumbles it is uh, uh, while walking losing the balance, 
stuck on losing the balance and the fall she was okay was about the uh, stumbles over the body of upagupta so upagupta slept on the corner road corner so just uh, she didn't see the dark night and she was fell on him and who was sleeping on the dusty ground so dusty ground the side upagupta slept but uh, she wasn't see a uh, person because that time was from the dark night so dark night uh, dark night time she stumbles on uh, the body of upagupta and next to what happening what the conversation going on between the upagupta and the vasavarta the complete explanation given in this poem here okay let's be uh, discuss the poem so here upagupta already i told the student upagupta this poem is written by rabindranath tagore so before going to understand the poem let's uh, discuss the about the author about the author just at the base is here given student uh, about the author rabindranath tagore the greatest of indian uh, modern poets so we have we have we have more poets among them one of the modern and famous po poet is and he was born on 7th may 1861 in the place of kankar and uh, he was died in the time in the day of 7th august 1941 and uh, about him he is a social reformer and also good painter painted many paintings and also modern poet of india okay and then in uh, the world one of the greatest award the award name is nobel prize and this Nobel Prize in the field of peace, he got the Nobel Prize in the year of 1930. Okay, and then he wrote many books, among them one of the important books is Gitanjali. So it is the author, about the author and also in the textbook given to student, Ravindranath Tagore, the greatest of India's modern poets and he was born in the affluent Bengal family in 1861. Affluent is considered very good and rich family by Rabindranath Tagore born. Okay, and besides being a poet, he was a novelist, written uh, different novels. So he is called a novelist and um, essayist also written and also constructed dramas. Also. So same here, dramatist. Okay, and Tagore was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1913 for his book uh, Gita Anjali. Actually, Gita Purpose, and uh, he got Nobel Prize in 1913. Okay, and he was the founder of the international famous institution Vishwa Bharati at the Shantini Ketan. So in uh, Bengal, West Bengal, we see the place, the place name is Shantini Ketan. In the Shantini Ketan, to spread of the education, to give the good knowledge to the students, the purpose of that, Rabindranath Tagore constructed or established one school, now it become university. The university name is Vishwa Bharati. So, and uh, his poetry is uh, profoundly and uh, unmistakable Indian. Okay, and uh, he restates the wisdom of India in verse, verse nothing but poem. Poem by mingling love, friendship, and music. It's, it's the meaning is a student, uh, whatever the poems, whatever the novels, whatever the writings written by the Rajanath Tagore community, what it says in the sincere, the completely, the poems. Uh, Mixed up of uh, love, friendship, and music uh, completely. We see whatever the different poems written by Rabindranath Tagore. Among this, among those poems, one of the Upagupta, uh, mixture of the love, friendship, and uh, music. Let's really discuss uh, poems today. Look at the textbook uh, student, Upagupta, Rabindranath Tagore. Let's we discuss here. First, I recite the poem here. Bhubha Gupta, the disciple of Buddha, lay asleep on the dusty by the city of Mathura. Lamps were out, doors were all shut, and stars were all hidden by the murky side of August. Whose feet were those tingling with the anklets, touching his breeze of sudden? He woke up, started, and the light from a woman's Lamp struck his forgive eyes. It was the dancing girl stared with the jealous, wearing 
a pale blue mantle drunk the wine of her youth. She lowered her lamp and saw the young face austerely beautiful. Forgive me, young ascetic, said the woman. Graciously come to my house, the dusty earth is not fit but for you. The young ascetic answered, woman, go on your way. When the time is right, I will come to you. Suddenly the black knight showed its teeth in a flash of lightning. The stone rolled from the corner of the sky and the woman trembled in fear of some unknown danger. A year has not yet passed. It was evening of a day in April in spring season. The branches of the wayside trees were full of blossom. Gay notes of the flute came floating in the warm spring air from up afar. Upagupta passed through the city gates and stood at the base of the tramp rampart. Was that a woman lying at his feet in the shadow of the mango grove? Struck with the black pestilence, her body spotted with the source of smallpox, she was hurriedly driven away from the town. To avoid her poisonous uh, contigate, the ascetic sat by her side, took her head on his knees, and moistened her lips with the water and uh, smeared her body with the sanded bomb. Who are you, merciful one? asked the woman. The time at last has come to visit you, and I am here, replied the young ascetic. This is the poem. Student Upalukta, one of the disciples of Buddha, little student where he was uh, living in a rich uh, ruler time, he was living. Yes, one of the greatest empire in our India, the greatest empire name is Mauryan Empire. Mauryan Empire ruling time, he was living in our India. So he took the shelter of Ashoka, one of the greatest emperor of the foreign empire, Ashoka, ruling period, he took the shelter of Ashoka. So Upagupta, he was moving one place to another place to spread up the Buddhism principles. So Upagupta, that one day he came to Mathura city. That Mathura city, after the wandering, after the roaming in Mathura city, in the dark night, he was taking a rest. At the time, this complete incident happened. Let's read. This is his first parallel student, Upagupta, the disciple of Buddha, lay asleep on the dust by the city wall of Mathura. Lamps were all out, doors were all shut, and the stocks were all hidden by the murky sky of August. So here, Upagupta, Anade told student Upagupta, disciple of Buddha. He was sleeping, in the sense yet already he slept. He slept on the dusty by the city wall of Mathura. Where he was slept, the completely dust ground, dust ground, see, dust ground, when he was slept, it shows how simplicity man he is. So Mathura city, one of the city, UP, Uttar Pradesh city, Mathura city, there, there was a ground, on the ground, on uh, dusty ground on uh, Upagupta slept. At that time, darkness, how the night is uh, there described here. So, like student, lamps were all out. You should be understand here, all out in this is a shut, completely closed. So, lamps were completely closed, it was night. So, night uh, condition, how it explained here. Uh, lamps were hollow and doors were all shut. In this is people are all slept. So, doors are closed. We should be understand here. All the uh, lamps completely closed and doors were uh, completely closed. In the, the people were slept till that time. And uh, environment and stars were all hidden by the murky sky of August. Murky in the sense here, dark or cloudy. So, as you know, the student, August month in the sense here, that uh, season, rainy season. So rainy season in the system should be understood here completely uh, atmosphere completely covered by the cloud. So darkness we see in that uh, place 
cloudy uh, situation we see there. So stars, we didn't see the stars because of completely sky covered by the cloud. So here stars were all hidden by the murky sky of August. You should be understand why we here use murky, murky nothing but cloudy or dark. The sky of sky completely covered by the cloud. That month is August. So now, like the Buddhist, one of the greatest monk, greatest disciple of Buddha, he was came to Mathura city and he was kept on the ground of dusty. Like that time, completely everything closed. That was completely night. That paragraph says. The second paragraph, what it says? Let's read. Yes, so And here, whose feet were. Those tingling with anklets. Here, this is the sentence uh, explaining about the Vasava Tatta, one of the dancing girl of Mathura. She was born uh, uh, anklets, that is one devil. So, here, tingling, meaning given student, look at the glossary. Tingling, making a pleasant uh, metallic sound. It gives sound like uh, metallic. Okay, that uh, tingling or uh, metallic sound giving. Jagar she bore. Okay, whose feet were those tinkling with anklets? So, anklets, Hanani, uh, you know the anklets, a piece of jewelry were uh, around the top of the feet. feet. Okay, the anklets worn by Vasudatta and touching is the breeze top is sudden. So, while moving or going to home, she didn't see the person slept there. Okay, just uh, touching his breast stop uh, sudden. Just he, she was uh, uh, touched uh, the chest of the Upagupta and he woke up staggered. When she touched the chest of the Upagupta, Upagupta staggered, staggered in the sense here. She extremely surprised. Who is that? Who is uh, uh, stumble on me? Who stuck on me? Okay, he, is, he woke up and started and the light from a woman. She wore, she wore one lamp. There is one old lamp so she wore to while moving, but also it, uh, uh, it is not giving complete brightness. Little dark. So he woke up, started, and the light from a woman lamp struck his uh, pulpy wing eyes. Pulpy wing. So the eyes, uh, how it is? Pulpy wing eyes. Uh, 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 yeah. So, forgiving in the sense of giving uh, uh, sorry completely. The circle in the sense here to hit uh, that, that lamp hit it to his eyes. That when she saw the eyes of the Upagupta, that eyes completely forgiving eyes, she was uh, seen there. And now she thought it was the dancing girl. And uh, stayed with devils wearing a pale blue mantle drunk with the wine of her youth. She lowered her lamp and saw the end face utterly beautiful. So when she hit to hit the chest of the Upagupta, Upagupta surprised her and saw who is she? It was the dancing girl, Vasudatta. And the stare with the devil, she wore stare in the sense here, shining like stars. Whatever the devil she wore, that the completely shining, shining with like the stars. How the stars are shining, like uh, uh, her complete devil's uh, shining here. So, here, given like this today. So, wearing and uh, wearing a pale blue mantle, her dress uh, concept to explain here, wearing a pale blue mantle. So mantle meaning given spring, look at the glossary. Loose cloth wore especially in the past. In the past time, uh, whatever the dress concept, dress pattern was there, the dress pattern uh, she wore. Look at the picture, uh, you are seeing uh, her dress concept here, that uh, mantle dress she wore here. Okay, wearing a pale, uh, pale in sense of white, blue color, mantle dress she wore. And drunk with the wine of her youth. See what the concept of this statement in the sense here. Drunk with the wine of uh, her youth. In the sense, she was completely so beautiful. Young and beautiful she was. So he had used that drunk with the wine of her youth here, student. 
hand when he struck when he when she hit the chest of the upagupta what she got as she lowered her lamp then she just lowered her lamp down she bring that uh, lamp to down she lowered her lamp and saw the end, uh, face astrally beautiful so very beautiful person he was because a disciple okay uh, living simply life so she lowered her lamp and saw the end face astrally beautiful and uh, here the meaning of astrally beautiful what it close it Actually, beautiful in the sense of reflecting the beauty of the ascetic. It's showing how the ascetic uh, uh, was. Completely, he was beautiful, and uh, by seeing uh, she saying like this, okay, and she got uh, the concept here. Who was he there? And uh, he was a ascetic. Uh, that uh, complete uh, information given in this paragraph here. So this is the concept of this paragraph. Now, when she hit the body of the Upagupta, and uh, Vasudevata got uh, now, she came to know this person is ascetic, and now again the conversation going on. Now, for you me, an ascetic said the woman. So now woman asking the sorry, that is for you the for you me an ascetic am Vasudevata dancing girl, but I didn't see. you slept here and graciously came to my house the dusty trust dusty earth is not fit but for you so now kindness is showing to him by the vasavata what kindness she is showing in the sense here she is calling to him to her home because you are ascetic it is a not a suitable place to sleep it is completely dusty ground you come to my house and sleep well there she is calling to upagupta This is come to my house. The dusty earth is not fit bed for you. So that is one. The young ascetic answered, "Woman, go on or you will be." As you know, the student is simply like leading person. He is ascetic, and he said, "He said I am not coming to your home. So just what the what you are doing, just you do it. And since here you go to your home." You don't call me like you said to Vasudeva. So the young ascetic answered, "Woman, go on your way." So in this sense, I I won't come to your home. You go and do your work uh, like said this uh, concept here. So this is the uh, that paragraph. So here conversation going on between the Vasudeva and. Uh, Upagupta. So by hitting to Upagupta, she came to know this person is ascetic, and she was ready to call him to her home to because he is a ascetic and it is not a good place to sleep. And uh, by the asking for this, Upagupta said, "Oh woman, go your way. You are going to your home. Just you go to your home. You don't call to me, and he won't accept to come to her home." So this is the paragraph of this uh, student. Okay, student. Today it is enough to understand the poem Upagupta. So Upagupta, I said it. Upagupta, one of the greatest uh, saint and the good, one uh, of the disciple of uh, Buddha. And while spreading the Buddhism principles, he came to Mathura Nagar. So Mathura Nagar, at that time. Mauryan Empire was ruling time, Ashoka ruling time. He took the shelter of Ashoka and uh, ready to spread the teachings of the Buddhism. So while uh, dark night, he was slept on the dusty ground. When dusty ground he slept, so after the completion of the her work, Vasudeva, she was walking on the that dusty ground. So this that time was completely dark night. She didn't see the person slept there, and just he stumbles on the body of the archers of the Upagupta, and uh, started Upagupta. He was surprised who is she and whatever the nap she wore, uh, wore the company she lowered and uh, care 
bring to God to see who is that person. And she got the person he is ascetic. And she called him to her home because the dusty ground is not good for uh, ascetic. But he won't accept it to come to home and he said, go on your way. This is the concept of today's concept student. And I hope student Uta Gupta about the uh, author particular title and uh, first, second, third, fourth paragraph. And remaining, we can continue next class. So what happens uh, next uh, uh, stands up, whether uh, again Uta Gupta he went to her home or what happened that we discuss in next class. Thank you students.